Hey guys, it's me Max Rainbow and I'm back for another video. So today I am super duper excited to be continuing on my reactions to Junior Eurovision 2019. In this video I'm going to be reacting to the music video for Rush's entry called A Time For Us by, and y'all know I'm going to have to put on these glasses because these are some long names, Tatiana Mezhenseva and Denibriel Urzak. There we go. I'm excited to react to the music video for this because, to be honest, I wasn't the biggest fan of this live. I am a little bit indifferent on this entry right now. I don't know where I stand. Do I like it? Do I not like it? I'm not really quite sure. I definitely feel as though I need to give this a couple more listens and everything like that, and I haven't honestly listened to this since I reacted to the live performance, and I definitely haven't heard the studio version yet. So, for that reason, I'm really, really excited to actually watch the music video and just kind of give more thought into this entry because I just honestly have kind of not been thinking about it that much. So, without further ado, let's get right into reacting. Oh, wait, hold on. Immediately I'm like, oh wait, what is going on? These visuals? Hold on. These are epic. Oh, I'm liking this. This feels dark. Message number 1670. Oh my god. I don't know what's happening. Girl, me neither. I don't know what's going on. But it changed the world forever. <gasps> Wait, I'm loving this. Oh, I'm really liking this. Hold on. I did not expect this. If someone hears me, please call out. Oh, that's so eerie. This is so creepy and cool. I love this. I'm already enjoying this a lot more from this music video. I like this idea that these are like two really different people from different sides of the world, but they come together to because the world's fucking falling apart, you know? I love the aesthetic of this and everything. I'm already like a billion times behind this more just based off this music video. This is like a movie. I love this. This is like the type of stuff I appreciate because this is like a story. They're telling me something. There's some music videos where like, oh, I'm singing in, in a studio. This is like really cool, inspiring, artistic. Like this is cool. See, I like this perspective a little bit more because I still would like the song to be a little bit darker. But I like this kind of inspirational, like we're coming from different sides of the world, the world is in despair. But you know what, this is like this inspirational, like we can go on. The, things might be rough, but you know what, we're gonna make it through. That's what I'm feeling now. Whereas with the live performance, I just didn't get that storyline. Okay. She is so striking with her long, just light, light blonde hair. She's just like, I don't know, it's this really, both of them, very striking visually. Ah, oh, look, oh my god. I'm so invested in the storyline now. <laughs> Okay, girl. There's no limit for us. Now they're together. Unite all the world. Come together. Be amazing icons. Yes. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot more than live performance, I'm not gonna lie. They need to figure out how they can tell this story live on the stage. Make it interesting visually and everything. I mean, the song is still kind of basic. Let's be real. It's a little basic. It gives me very Unbreakable vibes. I'm not gonna lie. From last year. It gives me Unbreakable vibes. 
a little bit more interesting just because I think the singers are more interesting, but it still does give me Unbreakable vibes in the sense of like, this is a basic song. <laughs> this is a really basic song, but I really like those visuals, as you guys can tell. That really intrigued me. It made me more interested in the song in general, far more interested than I was when I watched the live performance. I will say that. I like the story of this. Like, I really like the music video. Now, do I love the song still? No, I don't. The song is still meh. But you know what? Overall, Russia, you really did that with that music video. That was really, really good. And I'm excited to see how they stage this because I do feel like Russia is really good at staging their entries. So we'll see. So yeah, guys, that is it for my reaction to Russia's music video for Junior Eurovision 2019. Don't forget to leave in the comments down below what you thought about their entry this year. As usual, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any other video that I do. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter at MaxTheRainbow so you don't miss out on any posts, polls, live streams, anything like that. And yeah, guys, my name is Max the Rainbow. I will see you all later. Goodbye. Mwah.